Hey guys, for sure start here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to fix this issue where verification failed, your Apple ID or password is incorrect. Now you may be encountering this issue for multiple reasons, but we're gonna to explain to you the reason that could be the reason why you're seeing this, and then also show you guys different ways to fix this because depending on your situation, your fix might be different. So watch the whole video to figure out ways to fix this. So first thing is first is why are you seeing this message? Well, this message is shown because of course, as you can see, Apple ID or password incorrect if you forgot your password or your Apple ID you're entering might be wrong, but it could also be some other things underlining like your Apple ID password and Apple ID is locked, disabled, or pretty much uh, locked for some reason, and we'll show you guys what to do in that case. So first thing first is when you get that issue, you can try again and try to enter your Apple ID and password, but if you keep on getting this message, hey, we're gonna do a couple things here. First thing is we're gonna go ahead and turn on and off the airplane mode. So we'll go into settings, and then as you can see the first option here for airplane mode, we're gonna turn it on, just give it a moment, and then turn it back off. So what this does is refreshes the network, things like your Wi-Fi and your Bluetooth settings and anything related, network related that could be preventing for the phone from connecting to the Apple server, it should resolve. Now, after you have done that, the next thing you wanna do in settings is go to general and then this time we're gonna look for this option for date and time. So you click on date and time and now in date and time, it's important that this time that you have matches your local time. Now this might change if you're traveling or some sort of kind of glitch happened or the time is off. You wanna make sure that is on. And generally you want to set this to be automatic, but if for automatic, if it's not able to, as you can see spinning here, it's not picking up the right time. You can always turn this off and set it manually where you're gonna pick the right time zone the right date and the time as well. But again, it should automatically pick it up. So keep it automatic, but in the case that it doesn't, manually set that and see if you can go ahead and get your phone to work. Now, if you've done that and it's still having issues, the next thing we want to do, which is gonna be pretty much for any software related fix, is do a forced restart of your iPhone. To do that, you're gonna press and release quickly the volume up and then press and release the volume down button on the side here. And then after that, you're gonna quickly hold and press this side button till the complete the screen goes completely black and you see the Apple logo reappear and then you'll let go and that will do a force restart, which again will clear up any software issue. So to do that in real time, we're gonna press and release the volume up and then volume down and then hold this side button. And we're not gonna to slide to power off because that'll be a normal shutdown. We're gonna keep on holding that side button just like that till the screen goes completely black, just like that. And then you'll see the Apple logo reappear. And then once it does, we'll let go of that side button. And now this will do is, Give the phone a clean slate restart, reloading the code and fixing any software related issue, which again is the very first go to troubleshooting step when it comes to fixing any software issue that Apple recommends. Now, for some reason, when you do this process, Siri activates just as means you didn't press and release the volume up and down quick enough. So make sure you just simply press and release the volume up and then volume down and then hold that side button and try to see if that issue for verification fail has resolved. Now, if it didn't resolve, the next thing you wanna do is go to settings. This time we're gonna do, go to general and look for software update. So it'll spin like that and either you'll be up to date, which is good. If it's not, there's a new update out. It'll say download and install. In that case, you'll click on download and install update depending on how big the update is it could take somewhere between 15 20 minutes to an hour again depends on your wi-fi connection as well or data connection so give it some time and make sure your phone is up to date again recommended thing to do when it comes to software of your phone apple wants to make sure that it is up to date as well now if you've done that and you're still having the issue the next thing you want to do is check if the issue is on the apple side of things what you can do is go to open up your browser that we have, for example, we have a browser opened up, go look for Apple system status page. You have to Google this because it's a URL and you'll see it, the first hit here where it says system status and we'll see here, click on that. What this is, it shows you all the services Apple provides with Apple devices. In this case, one thing that we're gonna look for is Apple ID. We wanna make sure this one is available. In rare cases, sometimes these services become unavailable because there's some maintenance going on or some problem going on on Apple server and, and you're gonna have to wait till 
it is fixed. Generally, Apple fixes within uh, minutes to hours. Sometimes we even see days, generally not the case, but again, you're gonna make sure it's available for you. Also look at other services Apple provides. So if you're having this message appear, let's say in the App Store, make sure App Store is available. And generally we'll see all of these are available, but in a case where it says unavailable, wait till that is resolved again like i said it usually is fixed really quickly by apple now after you have done that you're still having the issue what can you do the next thing we want to try to do is actually you reset our apple id password and you can do that in a couple ways you can go to apple id so you can go to this website where it's apple id dot apple dot com so www dot apple id dot apple dot com click on that and once you click on that, it will take you to this page where it'll ask you to sign in through your account. So you click on sign in. And once you try to sign in, you can hit and try to sign in through here with your existing password. Now, if you got that incorrect password or Apple ID, you can always forget your password. And this will allow you to reset your password by following the prompt, like verifying your phone number, email, and other information sensitive to your account. And once you do that, just reset your Apple ID password. The other way you can also do it if you don't go through the browser is actually going through the settings here. You go into settings, click on your name above here, you click on that, and then you see password and security. You want to click through here. Again, you'll try to enter your password if you can. If not, it will prompt you to reset it through there as well. And you want to go through the reset process and hopefully that resolves the issue. Finally, if none of this fixed your problem, it's because your Apple ID possibly is disabled or locked on Apple side and only Apple can unlock it or re-enable it. And to do that, you have to contact Apple. And how can you contact Apple? There's a couple ways to contact Apple. First thing is you can search up Apple uh, customer service or Apple support, either work, work support. You're gonna click on Apple support, search for this, and you can, you can call them or chat with the live agent or click on this page for different ways to contact Apple. It'll give you different ways for phone. It'll, if you want to go in person, you can go to the authorized Apple store or you can get the help app. You can use that through as well to go through the support, different ways to contact them. Basically, you wanna ask Apple to check your Apple ID to make sure everything is good. Generally, if it's locked again on their side, they can quickly fix it for you. It takes about a few minutes or so, and it's free to do, and Apple will help you resolve the issue because, of course, you're are having an Apple ID with Apple, and they're the best people to resolve that issue. That's, again, when it comes to some of the extreme NF, all the issues that we showed you didn't help. Finally, that's about it for our video. Hopefully, one of these help you fix that issue and if so, we want to hear from you guys what the issue, which of the troubleshooting steps fix it for you. Leave a comment in the comment section. If you found a better way to fix it, leave it as well so everyone knows as well. And we will add it. Really appreciate hitting that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.